Hello, band students. Um, hey, guys. So I want to talk really quick about uh, signing up for Smart Music and what that looks like. Uh, some of you guys are having some struggles, so I have some tips in here. And let's see how this goes. So uh, the first thing you're going to find is that within Google Classroom, that when you sign up for Smart Music, I have a little class code here. I have blocked it out. Uh, so that we don't have any confusion because there's like some different classes that are going on. Uh, but you are going to highlight that little code. You're going to copy it. And then when you click on this join a class link, it's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this or like this. So um, obviously class code, you would paste in your class code there and click find my class. If yours look like this, you're going to put in your email. Um, and what, what I mean by your email is most likely your, if you can get your student email, uh, like your student number at LMUSD uh, to work, that'd be fantastic. I've had some students um, have some trouble with that email and they've used a personal email. You know, not the best way of doing it, but I, I'm kind of okay with it uh, in this circumstance, but it is best practice to use your uh, school email. And then once again, you paste in your class code here. You're going to go down to the bottom. You're going to click find my class and it should look hopefully something like this. It says you're joining Judkins band or for those sixth graders out there, it's a sixth grade band uh, with myself. And then you would click join this class and it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. It's going to ask you what country you live in. I hope you can answer that question correctly. And it says, are you at least 13 years old? It doesn't matter too much whether you say yes or no, um, but I'm finding that there's a few more features that are available if you are 13. So if you're going to be practicing nearby an adult parent guardian, um, talk with your parent guardian and see if it's okay for you to click okay that you're over 13. Um, that's going to be something your family, like th it's this is smart music. There's nothing inappropriate uh, that's on this website or anything like that. So um, I, if I was doing this with my kids, I'd probably sign up for uh, have them as 13 years and older. It, this is not like Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that, meaning that there's not anything inappropriate. Okay, you put down your first name, your last name. Um, I put down test kid here, but I would like you to put your real name, please. It allows me to keep track of who you are in smart music. Uh, your email should be already pre-populated, filled out already. If you have one use a backup email, that's fine. Maybe um, if you're having trouble using your primary email, uh, I mean like your school email, maybe have your backup email as your personal one or the other way around, up to you. You have to fill out a username, okay? Um, and then you're gonna put in a password. They're gonna, of course, you know, when you're creating a password, there's gonna be some details there. Maybe it needs a number or something like that, okay? You're gonna put in your primary instrument um, and if you are playing a secondary instrument, you can fill that out too. Um, I want to point out that we have a B flat clarinet right here. Uh, the trumpet players are B flat trumpet and the clarinets are B flat clarinet. There's going to be other letters involved, but the B flat one is the one that you want. And of course, you're going to check off uh, the fact that you've read the terms and conditions and signing up and you're going to click submit. And then this screen is going to come up. Uh, it's going to say that they're emailing you an activation email, which case you have to go and fly over to your email account and you'll find an email that looks like this. It's from team. It says, welcome to smart music. Please confirm your email address. Now, uh, this is where a lot of students are having trouble. So if you're having trouble, uh, getting this email, this confirmation email, uh, talk with your family, Try a couple things, try it two or three times with your school email. If it really doesn't work, talk to your family and see if that of a personal email account might work a little bit better. Okay, and then when you open up that email, it's going to look like this really, and you're going to click confirm your email. And you might see this hey, so if you are on a Mac and you see this screen with the, I guess it's like this funny narwhal octopus thing. Um, you might be using Safari. I've been finding that Chrome uh, works really well. So um, if you're having trouble use like activating your email, you may have to go and download Chrome and activate it that way. So just a heads up on that. All right. And then um, if you click on this confirm your email and it goes well, you'll see this page. It says your account has been verified. Log in to continue. You type in your username. You type in that password that you created, you click login, and you're going to um, see this screen 
just like this. Um, now, if you're in sixth grade, yours is going to look a little bit different. Uh, but you're, if you're one of my seventh or eighth graders, this is exactly what you guys are going to see. Uh, we have um, some exercises here. You can press play and start. And this is actually where I'm going to stop here. So um, I want to point out a couple things. We have a lot of steps here, a lot of things to click on, a lot of things to remember. Um, just kind of whipping back and forth in my presentation here. Our, our goal is to get in. Um, and once you get in, um, this is great, but if one of these steps goes super weird, you need to reach out to Mr. Dean as quickly as possible. Reach out to myself as fast as possible. That way I can help you get signed in. We can have IT help you out, uh, which is our uh, tech people that are at the schools. Um, or, you know, if something I can help with, like just reach out and, and, and we can solve it. Um, now, if you get to this place and you're not sure what to do, I will be having instructions on Google Classroom. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these due dates as accurate as possible. Looks like ooh, April 3rd is coming up really quick. Um, try out those things. Uh, go in and click around at the different features. I don't really think you're going to break anything. Um, if you want to search music content, they're probably not going to have a lot of songs that you recognize. These are all like band and orchestra songs and stuff like that. But there's some really cool stuff in here. So if you kind of know what to search for, you might be able to find some songs. Maybe maybe you know about a song that your older brother or sister or a cousin played in their band, and you could probably search that music and it'll like bring up the flute part or whichever part they want to check out. All right, guys. Um, in the meantime, I hope you guys got into some art music okay. And if you didn't, please reach out. Um, I hope you guys are doing fantastic and uh, good luck.